Reality check man from a year device, you know, you know, say aromatic, realistic TV. Anyway, today I want to shed some light on the Gregory Park massacre or the Gregory Park tragedy. Where Prime Minister Andrew Olness come out and send strong message. So the country won't allow woodslums to wreak havoc in the country. But before I go any further, I'm going to rally back on the Prime Minister from 2015. Because the order of the day, you know, is to hold them accountable. And that is my job around here as new media, to hold them accountable. So take it away and we will discuss on the other hand. My job is to bring to the public the political understanding of issues. I get a sense from Jamaicans that they like, that there, there are some Jamaicans who want to make excuses for coming to this is an ultimate failure of the government. It's a political issue. Make no mistake about it. My job oh, is to bring to the public the political understanding, understanding of issues. I get a sense oh, from Jamaicans that they like that there, there are some Jamaicans who want to make oh, excuses for government failure. This is an ultimate failure of the government. It's a political issue. Make no mistake about it. So we tell them say Babylon will release the train, but they might use him brain. So that is it. The hour of the day. We have to hold everybody accountable now. Because 2015, that was you holding the government accountable as leader of the opposition. So we are holding accountable now, too. You know? So this is an article what published in, in the Observer. And the Prime Minister, Prime Minister. Michael Andrew Olness has sent strong message to the woodlums who are responsible for this firebomb of 11 house in a multiple dwelling yard on Walker's Avenue in Gregory Park, St. Catherine. On Saturday morning, Prime Minister warned that they will not be given free range to do as they want in this country. And Saturday morning, the Prime Minister warned that they won't be given free range to do as they want or please in this country. That's the Prime Minister's words. But, Prime Minister, we tired of photo up because they're around us right now. And face looks sad and pity that can't fool we and frighten we again. We're tired of that, you know. Seeing, so we are stopped looking on the surface and we need to break beneath because we need to know we're under this. Because we're not just talking, you know. We want solution to the problem. And the biggest problem that we have now as a citizen. The police commissioner and the minister of national security, the highest paid security personnel them in the island, the Jamaican people don't have confidence in them. The minister of national security, his disapproval ratings is in the 90s. So it simply means the Jamaican people have no confidence in this guy and don't want him. The commissioner of police disapproval ratings from the citizen of Jamaica is also in the 90s. That simply means to say the Jamaican people reject them. The Jamaican people want them. You see what I mean? But at the end of the day, they still have their job. But the national minister of security, why am I get 25 million a year? The commissioner. Supposed to they get the same. So people who them disapproval ratings is in the 90s are making billions or millions of years. So people who they disapproval ratings from the Jamaican people is in the 90s. 
are getting making millions a year. Millions a year. You know. And you are there right now, standing by this woman's side. Right? Showing like you have sympathy. Bro, you don't have no sympathy. You don't have no sympathy. It's all about photo up. Because when you show up this now on the photo app, you're still relevant within the media world. Photo of you they're all over the place with your face drop down like you have sigh, like you have sympathy and you have heart and you care for the people. No, you don't care. Because it is plain to see. The National Security Minister disapproval 90s, Commissioner of Police 90s. But yet still they maintain their job. And making what? Millions a year. So how can you care? Where is the interest? Where the interest of you trying to fight crime? See, because crime, you know, is wreaking Afro and Jamaica right now as I speak. You, the Prime Minister, are aware of that. The Jamaican people's biggest nightmare now is crime and violence. The people of Jamaica are traumatized, bro. Over crime and violence, brother. The people of Jamaica are living in fear, brother, because of crime and violence. They don't know when, where, if they're gonna be the next victim, brother, of crime and violence. See, so if you care about a thing, see, and the two men will get the highest pay for deal with crime in a Jamaica. Their disapproval ratings from us, the citizen, are in the 90s, bro. Then why are you keeping them in that position? If you, Jamaican people, where we chat you now and talk, if you care about your pitney, seen, and you know, say, a man over there, sir, is an abuser. And every woman, daughter, where you see come over there, that boy, they beat them off. You go encourage your daughter to go over there so go there with a worthless boy there. No, you're not going to do it, brother. You're not going to do it. So we should ask if crime is our biggest problem and we have the Ministry of National Security and his disapproval ratings from the Jamaican people is in the 90s. Why is he still there? If we have a commissioner of police and his disapproval ratings from the Jamaican people is in the 90s. Why is he still there? These are the questions we must ask the Prime Minister of Jamaica. If you say you care and you want to solve crime, why is these two men have their job? And then you're gonna walk over there like you know you're you know squeaky clean and you understand you're so concerned, you know, about the citizen of Jamaica because ask my wife. When I go home, I can't sleep at night because I, I, I'm thinking about the Jamaican people. If you are really so care and concerned about us, I'm talking to you now. If you are so care and concerned about us, why the Jamaican people reject Anthony Anderson and you still have him, the PM, almost 25 million a year? Why is it that the Jamaican people reject Oris Chang, the Minister of National Security, and you still have him the PM almost 25 million a year. Why? If you care about us, why are you doing this to us? You say you care about us and you want to solve crime. But the two people who is at the top, who is making the most money, who is making the most money, who is the head of crime, the Jamaican people say, no, we don't want them. So why are you playing tone deaf? Mr. Prime Minister, why are you playing so tone deaf and still have these men in this position? It is plain and simple. A two thing is either you want to solve crime or you don't want to. And this is showing me that you don't want to. You understand? You want to keep the Jamaican people in fear. Because this is what is happening. You know? The Jamaican people are in fear. Because they don't know when and where. A mother don't know when him go last a son. A son don't know when him go last in mother. A daughter don't know when him go last in father. A father don't know when him go last in daughter. You understand? And it goes on and on and on and on and on, brother. You understand? You show up 
you're gonna build back 11 hours. A political point stem there, you know, brother. A political point stem there, you try to score four to up and you go build back 11. You go build back 11 hours and the man then go buckle, buckle boom down 100 more or 20 more. You go continue build, 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 build house, brother. Brother, at the solution, we attack at the problem and fire the two man, brother, because we don't get no service out of two man, brother. At least, brother, just give us some assurance, no, bro. Bro, just give us some assurance, no, man. Just let go the two man, no, man. I met the people of Jamaica say, yeah, man, Andrew Owen is ready to do something about crime, man. See, let go Chang, the man. And see, let go Anderson, the brother. You understand? Because it can't be like this, brother. You're not pay people, brother. For failure, brother. Brother, I'm not seeing nobody in the world that pay people for failure, brother. You pay two man who are not profound, dog. You waste taxpayers' money on two man who are under profound, brother. And then you say you care about me, brother. And show up and talk about you go build 11 hours, brother. Political points, them, the brother. Brother, we're done with the political points. We done with you come out and I show photo up and the say and I go on like brother. We know brother say you don't have no heart for poor people, brother. We know you don't have no heart, brother. If you don't have heart, brother, and they listen to the cry of the people of Jamaica, brother. The two man, brother, disapproval ratings, Commissioner of Police, Minister of National Security, their disapproval rating is in, is in the 90s, brother. If you walk the globe and check the globe right now. Seeing you don't have no man hold no position in a no government or no organization. But them disapproval ratings is in the 90s. I go them off go. Because guess what? Them are a problem to the organization. You understand? They are poison to the government. So it's just waste of taxpayers' money going to these two individual brothers. I don't know, I give them mic, make them a come out, come talk, and a spinner, and this and a go on like that, brother. We're not in a spinning, spinning thing and them thing, the brother. Eh? So we don't bother come around here and a go on like we don't want to solve crime, brother. We know we don't want to solve crime, brother. We know we don't want the Jamaican people to live in a fear, brother. Because at the end of the day, you know, there's a psychological effect behind it, you know. We sit down every day and they worry about how much dead to the five dead tomorrow. You understand? The next day we hear say ten get shot. You understand? The next day we hear say seven get shot dead. You understand? The next day we hear say boy then rape one girl and beat him. The next time we hear say two people get missing. So at them thing they pull out with cranium, you know. Them thing they pull out with cranium and clog with cranium. So we can't even look and think straight because the only thing what they put with mind is fear, brother. Fear. You understand? That time we know I get to do all kind of things. You know, thief taxpayers' money. Two billion dollar missing every year under your administration, brother. Five hundred billion barrel of oil missing under your administration for doing a petrol jam, brother. You understand what me? I said two hundred and add million missing for buy police car and the can't come back, brother. Four hundred and add million missing, brother, from out of the health and wellness ministry, brother, for the COVID money and that can't come back, brother. So we are talking about scandal after scandal. So the Jamaican people can't really get to zoom in on the more important things because guess what? Who use the crime thing and clog and pollute their minds so them can't even think them just in them house and a look and a wonder and a fret and a worry when Jamaica gonna return back to the Jamaica that it was once. When seven year brother, seven year it take you for brother for destroy Jamaica, brother. Seven year it take you for destroy Jamaica, brother. That is your legacy, you know, brother. What is the legacy and the accomplishment of Andrew Owens? Corruption, crime and violence, and he delivered a donkey. What else is the achievement of this man? What else is the achievement of this man? Anyway, people, you know, remember, like and share. Follow the movements, aromatic, realistic TV. As I said before, each one teach one. None of us is an island. So therefore, we can't stand alone. United, we're going to stand. Or divided, we're going to hit the pavement. No man is an island. I will continue to say that. Be your brother's keepers. Look out for your neighbor. A John Good Road. Every day is not going to be the same. One day changes must come. The whole of folks always said, after a storm, 
there must be a calm. The calm is in the horizon. The calm is in the horizon. Stay focused. Keep on your eyes on the prize. Look out at it and watch them. And open up your ears and listen to them. Until then, you know, the aromatic will chat again, you know. A John Good Road. I'm say peace and love. I'm out.